morning everyone. Hope everyone's doing alright out there. This is just a quick little um, precursor to the video you're about to watch about my first cycling experience in Japan. So just to let you know, um, my uh, back is absolutely fine now. It's a lot better. I've been able to rest a bit and it's back to, you know, what backs do. You know. So the COVID situation is kind of getting better, but we're actually teaching online at the moment at my school. That's a bit of a pain. You teachers out there, you know, it's just, it is just not the same thing and it's a completely different kettle of fish. In terms of communication, it's still pretty difficult with the masks, but of course they're, they're a necessity, so just gotta make it happen, make it work. The weather's cooling down a little bit, which is a really, really good thing. Um, I'm able to get out a bit more. Um, there are still times when you go out and you wanna do something, maybe like put something in the back of the car, and you know, after about 10 minutes of just the physical movement, but you just you just need a shower. You just absolutely soak in. So this video is my first video cycling in Japan. Um, I shot it pretty much with Bone 8S. Quality not so great, but it's kind of you know. I used a Wahoo Element Ball. I've been using this for um, a few years now, and um, I've got to say the navigation on this thing is really shit recommend it I mean other than kind of like uploading a route from the internet and putting it on here is great but if you are lost and it has like a navigation feature and you can say like take me to somewhere um, it will take you like off-road it will take you um, through people's back gardens it will just take you on like off-road stuff it's just a bit of a nightmare so I wouldn't recommend this but um, I do recommend cycling and if you're able to do it and get into it I really wouldn't recommend you know I couldn't recommend it more anyway um, hope you're all doing all right out there um, I'll see you guys soon hey everyone hope everyone's doing good I'm on my first ride out finally got my bike uh, registered which is something you need to do here in Japan Kind of like a car you need um you need to get registered you need insurance it's uh it's a bit of a nightmare so uh luckily uh minami was able to come with me and we were able to sort all that out today um and i've left her to do some painting and i've got a few hours to to kill out on the roads with mosquitoes everywhere and a little bit of heavy traffic uh, along these like narrow windy roads but it's all good um, this just carries on for a little bit and then uh, and then we're on some major roads uh, so yeah as you can see it's pretty nice around here this is a nice spot uh, yeah I'm pretty out of breath haven't been doing this for a long time so um, so anyway hope everyone's good take care stay tuned for more cycling stuff in a nice uh, 50 miles tonight it's Saturday the 11th of September uh, pretty much doing my first ride here in Japan it's night time I got a bit lost uh, just mooching about uh, so uh, luckily I'm not getting eaten alive by mosquitoes 
I uh, went for a ride initially and had to come back. My tyres were pretty low, so Minami just dozed me in spray. So, but I'll probably find out later on whether that worked. Um, I'll probably be itching all over, but who knows? So anyway, uh, there she is. Got me uh, from A to B pretty safely. Um, so yeah, so this is what I think about road cycling in Japan thus far. So as I uh, very clumsily carry my bike up the stairs in road shoes, uh, I'll tell you what I think. So first thing, the roads are fantastic. Uh, really nice quality, not a lot of bumps, not a lot of potholes at all. Um, drivers are great, uh, quite considerate. A few people are a bit close, but you know, can't win all of them. Um, easy to get lost, uh, as I found out. It's uh, it's really beautiful around here, so you can get kind of taken in by the scenery and you kind of want to venture out and go different ways, different routes. And then like a steady flow of traffic can kind of take you in ways you never intended and then you're, uh, you're probably pretty lost. But uh, other than that, I think it was uh, really good. So uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you for uh, checking out my first sort of cycling video. Can you hear that? Cicadas are just not dead and won't die. Anyway, so much love, peace, wherever you are. Take care, see you soon.